What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining Ask Pat Man on how to make banana pudding. So I'm going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you the things or some of the things you're going to need to make this dish. I like banana pudding because it's quick and it is good. Trust me. Okay, I wanted to rotate my camera, but it looked like I couldn't. It tried to adjust my brightness when I did that. So I'm going to just turn the camera or turn the phone so you can see it. Okay. Oh, y'all see the New Orleans hat? I don't have a chef hat, so I put on the N01. All right, but here we go, y'all. So you're going to need a bowl to mix. I like the metal bowl because... Once you put this bowl in the refrigerator, it helps the pudding get cold quicker. You're going to need your bananas. You see, I got some ones that look spotted and overripe. Those are the ones that's going to have the extra sweetness to it. If you get the green one, no sweet. If you get just yellow, it'll be a little sweet. But the overripe looking ones, extra sweet. That's what you need. Usually for um, banana nut bread, you will go a little bit more ripe. But for the banana pudding, that should be fine. You will need your wafers and then your pudding. So I'm doing the instant dish. This will be a quick video. So you got vanilla and two bananas. Now, when you get your pudding, make sure you don't get the one that say cook and serve. Because this is the one that has to be made on the stove. It's not that instant stuff. I tried that. Tried using this. Going the instant route. Awful. So, yeah. Make sure you get just the regular jello on the flavors you need. Okay? Not the cook and serve unless you're using your stove okay you're going to need your dishes this is your pudding going to go in when you're making it I have a glass pan here or a glass bowl you can use whatever you like the metal um, tin foil whatever then I have my knife to cut the bananas with just using a butter knife then a little spoon to help me when I mix, make sure I get the corners good. I'm going to blend with the electric blender. And then I have the milk and the whipped cream in the refrigerator. Also, you will need a measuring cup. Now, some of y'all say, how you wear a New Orleans hat, but you got on a measuring cup. Well, so what? I'm using the measuring cups. Sometimes you got to use your little measuring tools. To make sure you get your um, ingredients or recipes down to the T. Alright. Okay. So I have the phone down on the little stand. We're about to go ahead and get started. Make sure you're not using this cook and serve. Take this. Toss it out your way. You don't want to mix that in. Use the wrong one. Okay. So... You open up your boxes. I probably should have had this done before I started the video. But you go ahead and pull each pack into your mixing bowl. Okay. So you pour. Once that pack is empty. Pluck. And you're done. You ain't got to continue to shake, 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 shake. Nothing else coming out. is coming out of there. Okay. That's it. It's empty. Alright. Again. Open up your pack. You dump it in there. Once you get them two corners, that's it. Nothing's else coming out of there. And then you just do your last one. You do that for each one, alright? So you should have three packets two banana, one vanilla. Okay. Uh oh, that's it. I hope I didn't have no more of that serving cooking. Man, I'm going to be so disappointed at the end of this video <laughs> when it's time to show y'all 
All right, go line. Okay, I just drew the box away from the packets of the pudding. Got my measuring cup. Got the milk out the fridge. Remember, two cups per box. So it was two full six. I had three boxes. So that will be six cups. I wish I had something just to measure out six total. So I'll just, but I don't. I'll just do two cups three times, okay? Uh oh. I may not have another two in this last one. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, he made it. <laughs> Alrighty. Two cups each box. It don't make sense to put that big back in the fridge, so I'm going to just go ahead and drink that. <laughs> hmm. Excuse me. Okay, y'all. Time to blend. I'm going to take this over to the electric blender and go ahead and start getting this mixed up. You want to do it on a low setting because with this thing, putting going to be all over the place. So start off on a low setting. Alright, start off low. As it starts to thicken up, then you can turn the setting up higher. Okay, y'all, I actually just had it on the low setting the whole time. But I don't think that was even a full five minutes. But it probably was. So this how you want your putting to look. It all look how it's already sticking. That's what that glass bowl does. I'm lying, that's not even a glass bowl, that's a metal bowl. But go ahead, drop this in the refrigerator and start the next part of it. One moment. Alright, so this is what's gonna make your putting yours. Okay, so me, I like to use the mini wafers I don't get the regular big ones because with the mini ones you can fill up your pan with more okay um, I also like to use the organic bananas because organic bananas tend to be a little more creamier than regular bananas no I'm not just an organic guy but I do like the organic bananas they are much better in my opinion. When you're chewing them, you would t you can see how they will go down a little bit more easier than the regular bananas. They tend to seem harder to swallow. Uh, and also, um, the whipped cream. Now, if you don't really like whipped cream, you don't really have to do this. But... I'm going to take and put my wafers in first, then some bananas, then the whipped cream. All right, give me a minute. Okay, let me wait for them. Just dump them in there. And if you're going to eat them, they don't have to be set in now. Perfect. Okay. Okay, organic bananas. Also, my sis was telling me. You can make this with condensed milk, but I'm not going to go that route. Um, shout out to my sis for that recipe. But yeah, so see, you see how it's black on the outside or ripened, but the inside is still good. Don't worry about the lighter spots. Okay, so you just cut however big you want them. I'm not going to cut them too big. And also, if you're going to go with the organic bananas, you can go bigger. But if you're going to go, if you're cutting them pretty small, I guess you can use the regular bananas. guess it wouldn't matter. But if you're really not that picky on your bananas, I guess it wouldn't matter anyway, right? So yeah, just cut your bananas, let them drop in there. I'm not going to use too many bananas. Okay, this is my second banana. Now, I don't know if y'all 
can tell, but I'm using the banana peeling to serve as a chopping board per se, so I won't have to use my hand or my fingers, okay? Although I'm using a butter knife, but still practice per makes perfect. I ain't really trying to slice my hand up even if, um, just in case I wasn't using a butter knife. I said I was going to do whipped cream next, but I'm going to go ahead and put some pudding in first. Okay? Okay. So the pudding, then caught a little chill. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in there. Okay? Then I'm going to do the whipped cream. Then I'm going to finish it off with the last of the pudding. Hang on. Okay, got the pudding in there. Gave it some shake, shake, shake so it can start reaching the bottom. Now it's time to add the whippy cream. So, you just take it, put it on there. I mean, it's probably not going to lay perfect, but that's fine. You did want to have your whipped cream out while you was prepping all of this other stuff because you didn't want your whipped cream to be froze on you. All right. I'll just get that whipped cream. I think that's all the whip I'm going to use for this dish. I'm not going to go overboard with it. I like the whipped cream, but too much of it could kind of be overbearing. All right. And that's that one.